In this question, we need to prove that AB to the power of n is equal to A power n, B power n using principle of mathematical induction. First of all, let us consider this uh, statement, whatever is given or the formula, whatever is given as P of n. P of n is AB to the power of n equal to A power n, B power n. Now, if n is equal to 1, then our left hand side will become AB to the power of 1, which is nothing but AB. And then right hand side will become A power 1 into B power 1. That is also AB. So we can say, hence, P of 1 is true. Now let us consider or assume, assume P of K is true. Then we have P of K equal to or P of K will be AB to the power of K is equal to A power K B power K. Now to prove that P of K plus 1 is true. So let us first consider the left hand side. Our LHS will become AB to the power of K plus 1. That can be rewritten as AB to the power of K into AB to the power of 1. So now AB power K, we know already it is A power K into B power K. That we will have to multiply it with A, B. That will become now this. I can rewrite it as A power 1, B power 1. So here it is nothing but A to the power of K plus 1 and B to the power of K plus 1. Hence, we can say P of K plus 1 is true. That implies that in general, P of N is also true. That is the proof. In this question, we need to prove that phi to the power of n minus phi is a multiple of 4 for all n belonging to set of natural numbers by principle of mathematical induction. So first, what we will do, we will consider the given statement as P of n. P of n b. Sorry, phi power n minus phi is a multiple of 4 for all n element of set of natural numbers. Now, if n is 1, then we have the left hand side as 5 power 1 minus 5, which is actually 0. And 0 can be written as 0 times, or I can say 4 times 0. 4 times 0. Uh, therefore, we can say which is a multiple of 0, which is a multiple of 4, which is a multiple of 4. So we can say P of 1 is true. Now, assume P of K is true. Then we can write the statement as P of K B phi to the power of K minus phi is a multiple of 4. means we can rewrite that as phi power k minus phi can be written as 4 times r where r is some element of integer. Now to prove p of k plus 1 is true. So we will consider the left hand side which will be phi to the power of k plus 1 minus 5, which can be rewritten as 5 power k 
times phi minus phi. And from here we can say uh, phi power k is nothing but 4r plus phi. So now we will replace phi power k as 4r plus phi times phi minus phi, which can be written as 20 times r plus 25 minus phi, which is 20 times r plus 20. So now that can be rewritten as 20 times r plus 1 or 20 can be written as 4 times phi times r plus 1. Therefore, which is a multiple of, which is a multiple of 4. Therefore, p of k plus 1 is true. Which means in general we can say p of n is by mathematical induction. In this question, we need to prove that 2 times 7 power n plus 3 times 5 power n minus 5 is divisible by 24 for all n element of natural numbers using principle of mathematical induction. So let us first write down, uh, let p of n be the statement 2 times 7 power n plus 3 times 5 power n minus 5 is divisible by 24 for all n element of natural numbers. Now let n equal to 1. Then our left hand side will become 2 times 7 power 1 plus 3 times 5 power 1 minus 5. That will give you 2 into 7, 14. 3 into 5, 15. Minus 5, we get uh, 24. And uh, 24, it is divisible by 24. It is divisible by 24. Because this 24 can be written as 24 times 1. Now, let n equal to 2. Then, left hand side will become 2 times 7 square plus 3 times 5 square minus 5. 7 square is 49. So, 2 times 49 plus 3 times 25 minus 5. This will give you 98 plus 75 minus 5, which is 98 plus 70, and we get 8, 9, 7, 68. So, oh, is it divisible? 168, 24. I think uh, 2, 3, 4, 5. I think it is 7 times 7 fours are 28, 2 7 twos are 40. So it is divisible. So we can rewrite this as 24 times 7. So we can now assume P of K is true. So then we can write this P of K as 2 times 7 power K plus 3 times 5 power k minus 5. If it is divisible by 24, then it should be equal to 24 times r, where r is an element of natural numbers in general. Now to prove p of k plus 1 is true. To prove p of k plus 1 is true. So, if we consider left hand side, it will become now 2 times 7 power k plus 1 plus 3 times 5 power k plus 1 minus 5. Now, in order to uh, substitute this, uh, first of all, let us rewrite this. This will be 2 times 7 power k into 7 plus 3 times 
फाइव पावर के इंटू फाइव माइनस फाइव आई मीन यू आर स्प्लिटिंग दिस के पावर वन के टू द पावर ऑफ के प्लस वन एस के एंड देन वन लाइक दैट नाउ लेट अस ऐड एंड सब्ट्रैक्ट सम टर्म्स व्हाट विल बी द टर्म्स इंटू सेवन इंटू फाइव पावर के प्लस we will also add sorry not plus plus minus minus 7 into 5 7 into let us add and subtract these terms so our lhs will now become 2 into 7 power k into 7 plus 3 into 5 power k into 5 minus 5 then we are going to add the term whatever we wrote in the above 3 into 7 into 5 power k minus 7 into 5 then subtracting 3 into 7 into 5 power k adding 7 point uh, sorry 7 into 5 now let us consider these terms one is this one and then the other one is this one and then third one is this one in these three terms 7 is common we can take it outside so we can rewrite it as 2 into 7 power k second term plus 3 into 5 power k third term we can write 5 because already we took 7 outside then the balance uh, terms we can rewrite plus 3 times 5 power k into 5 minus 5 Minus three times seven into five power k plus seven into five. We can write it as thirty-five. Now this is nothing but I mean this entire thing is nothing but twenty-four times r. We can substitute that so seven times twenty-four r. now if we look into this we may notice 3 times 5 power k into 5 minus 3 times 5 power k into 7 so if we can subtract if we subtract or we can take common outside plus 3 times 5 power k is common first term will have 5 minus 7 and then This minus five and this plus thirty-five. If we add those two, we get plus thirty. So this is seven times twenty-four r, and this will become minus two times three into five power k plus thirty. Two into three is nothing but six, so we can rewrite it as twenty-four r minus six times five power k plus thirty. now this again can be rewritten as 24 r and here the common is in these two common is 6 we can take it outside minus 6 times 5 power k and this can be written as minus 5 we already know 5 power k minus 5 uh, is a multiple of 4 so we can rewrite it as 7 times 24 r Minus six times, we can write it as four times p. Since five power k minus five is a multiple of four, and here our p is some integer element of some natural number we can write. So now this can be again rewritten as seven times twenty-four r minus. 24 times p so together we can take uh, what do you call 24 outside so we can rewrite it as 24 times 7 r minus p therefore uh, i mean which is a multiple of 24 which is yeah multiple of 24 therefore p of k plus 1 is true when this is true we can generalize it as p of n is 
proved by mathematical induction. In this question, we need to prove that 1 plus 3 plus 3 square and so on up to 3 to the power of n minus 1 is equal to 3 power n minus 1 by 2 by mathematical induction. We may notice actually this is a sum of uh, first n terms of a geometric progression where you may notice that the common ratio is 3, first term is 1. But we need to prove this using mathematical induction. So let us consider this uh, uh, formula as P of n. We are going to consider that. Now, if uh, n is equal to 1, then the left-hand side will be having only 1. And then the right hand side will become now 3 power 1 minus 1 by 2, which is 2 by 2. And that is also 1. Therefore, we can say P of 1 is true. Now, straight away, we will assume let P of K be true. Then we can write P of K as 1 plus 3 plus 3 square plus and so on plus 3 to the power of k minus 1 should be equal to 3 power k minus 1 by 2. Now, our next step is to prove that p of k plus 1 is true. To prove p of k plus 1 is true. Now, left hand side will become 1 plus 3 plus 3 square and so on up to 3 to the power of k minus 1 and then 3 to the power of k plus 1 minus 1. And this, this term is actually, we can replace it with 3 power k minus 1 by 2 and then here plus 1 minus 1 gets cancelled. So we simply have 3 power k. This LCM will become now 2. So we have 3 power k minus 1 plus 3 power k. Sorry, 2 times 3 power k. Let me rewrite. Now plus 2 times 3 power k. So that can be rewritten as this is 1 times 3 power k and that is 2 times 3 power k. So we will have 3 times 3 power k minus 1 by 2. 3 times means it is 3 power 1. So we can rewrite that as 3 power k plus 1 minus 1 by 2. That is what we are supposed to prove. So hence we can say therefore p of k plus 1 is true. So in general we can conclude that p of n is true by mathematical induction.